best plan heating system when I was at college we didn't get taught anything so I had to learn all this so hopefully this is helping you get your head around it A little friend today that's going to help us <laughs> but yeah i did some training with the lads we had a little barbecue and we went through heating systems so they found, found it really helpful because you don't you basically don't get taught how to do heating systems in college so i thought i'd uh, go through the actual wine for it uh, and then make sure that you guys know what you're doing too right let's uh let's crack on so the type of system we're covering is called the s-plan system so that's basically where you've got a programmer you've got some two port valves which will open up the different if it's either hot water underfloor heating or central heating there we go <laughs> so it'll, be, it'll open up the valves and make sure that it just does the selected uh, if it's either heating hot water underfloor heating instead of making them all come on at once so it basically allows you to control each little bit separately using a programmer some thermostats and the actual valves it's in the system then we've got the boiler itself then so the boiler's just got a Put live neutral and earth that powers it up then because normally when you power up the boiler it'll do like a salmonella overrun it'll basically boost up heat up for maybe five minutes ten minutes just to kill any bacteria and then it's kind of good to go and then basically when it goes to its journey asking for heat or hot water or some underfloor heating it will essentially make the switch live turn will come live your boiler comes live and then it starts pumping hot water around the system depending on which one it is it's either going to be hot water central heating or some sort of underfloor heating so you've got a power supply so you've got a three amp fuse here so that's generally what you protect it i talked to a plumber the other day apparently the gas regs have updated and it's a five amp now um, but i'm not aware of the electrical regs updating so for now i'm going to stick a three amp still in you've got a room start so that's going to control the temperature of the room uh, if the program is telling it to come on at certain times we've got a cylinder start so this is for an older system with like a big tank full of water so it makes sure that the the uh well, as soon as the temperature the water gets up to temperature it'll knock off and not keep climbing and climbing and climbing but yeah you don't want your system blowing up on older systems you got your wiring center so this is normally a little box with, with all your cables going back to you got the heating two port valve you got your hot water two port valve and your programmer so let's uh, show you how we wire up this so the way I do heating systems then, I like to power everything up first and then we look onto the actual control. We'll get into what control is shortly, um, but for the, for the ease of things we're going to ignore earth. So ignore earth. So for this system then, from every point, if it goes back to your wiring centre. So that's what you've got to remember. So we'll, we'll classify one as permanent live, two as neutral. So let's draw those in. So this will be like a, uh, a one mil twin earth it could be, or a, a one mil flex. So you're going to come out your spur with a three core. It's a live earth neutral. We're going to ignore the earth just because it'll get a bit messy. Yeah, but essentially that's your wine center powered up then. So next we'll power up his boiler then. So we're going to send the cable from here and power up that boiler. I've gone too far in it. <laughs> there we go. So that's permanent live earth, uh, neutral earth switch live. So that's it with the permanent line. And then neutral. It's got a neutral now. Great. We'll come on to the switch live at the end. So next you've got your two port valves then so we've got live in live out we'll come on to that later but neutral earth and permanent live remember we're just ignoring the per the earth just, just think everything's got an earth uh, so let's just get a permanent live there so on the actual cable that comes with these gray is your permanent live so we can just tap off here then so permanent live come off over here permanent live so we've got permanent live to those same again, neutral, let's just bang it out of here. So neutral, pop over here, and there's your neutral. So that's now powered up. I'm gonna do the same again for the programmer. That's your programmer powered up, and then let's come along here. And that is the programmer with the line and neutral. So that's everything powered up. So this cable then, it'll need a live earth neutral. So this will just be like a twin earth you could use. So from your wiring center to here, maybe a little prog one or programmer one or programmer feed and that'll be your line and neutral to power that up these are generally pre-cabled so we'll come on to that later so now onto the control of something so when we're talking control we're talking time 
which is the, what this programmer does. We're talking uh, a thermostat, so we're talking temperature, so we're going to control the temperature when things kick it out, what other things we've got. So with lights, you know, like photo cells, so it'd be light, that would be a control, so what, what, what level of light, or it could be a PIR, so it could be um, heat signatures passing over a grid, and if it, if, it, if it crosses over so much of a grid, it'll kick in, that, that could be movement as a, as a trigger. But for this then, it's going to be a programmer, which is going to control the time. So that's going to decide when you want your hot water and heating to come on during certain times. So that's programmer then. So obviously if we just go programmer to so this uh, valve, we'll come on to this later, but the valve opens, it hits a little micro switch and then live in, sorry, permanent live, then connects to live out and then the power comes out. But if we, if we did that, the boiler would be always on. So we want something to control it, i.e the boiler comes on the temperature rises we don't want it to carry on rising so we want something to control that to stop that so we've got something called a thermostat or a stat so that will basically turn off once it hits a, a certain set temperature that you set it to so we've got one for the hot water and one for the actual room so let's follow the journey of the hot water then so here's your hot water terminal so you program then you've got live and neutral you've got normally closed terminals and you've got normally open terminals so what we, we want to do is wind to the normally open terminals so when it hits the timer it's going to kick over and the hot water will receive that live here so it'll send a 230 volt signal out of here to where we where it's going on its journey so let's draw that in then so we're going to tell hot water to turn on so this is during a time period so everything goes via the wind sensor if you, if you remember that so hot water let's make that uh, go via this terminal here then so we're going to do terminal six and then out of six then we want to go so if it's hot water that's going to go to a, a hot water cylinder so a big tank full of water so out of that terminal then it's going to come into common there we go and then it's going to if the stats then calling for heat so if, if they say that the water in there's there 10 degrees and this is set to 60 so during this time it's, it's it's saying right between these times i want to call for the hot water to turn on this stat is uh, lower than the target temperature, therefore this is connected through. So it'll come out of there then. We're going to use terminal 7. So that'll just be a twin and earth to your stat, or you can use a 3 core. So it's a 3 core to your stat. And then out of this terminal then, when you're going to go, because it's hot water, we're going to go to the hot water two-pot valve. So that's just going to go into the line in. So now it's in the two-pot valve. This two-pot valve is basically like a, a valve. So imagine a pipe coming in, pipe coming out, it's closed if if this live in terminal is not live. <laughs> so what, what it does then, it's a little valve. As soon as that receives 230 volts, it starts to open this gate. So that'll allow the water to flow through, but as it gets to the end of the gate, you'll hear a little click, and that is a micro switch coming in. And what that does is connect permanent live to the live out. So on the actual flex that comes with it, the live out is an orange core so what we're going to do is come out of there and wire that to terminal 10 then finally on its journey then out of your wine center an orange core will come along to your boiler into the switch live terminal and that will then turn on your boiler so obviously your boiler will need switch live earth neutral and permanent live so that'll need a three core to the boiler so if you ever have to, if, if you ever have to extend the cable on this it, it comes with five cars so you've got live in live out you've got permanent live earth and neutral so you're gonna have to send either a five car cable to extend it if you have to extend it um because it basically comes like a, a meter and a half cable on the two port valves so if you have to extend it then you need you'll need a five car ideally really to extend that to the wiring center so once this temperature gets once this water then reaches to temperature it will then click back over, stopping the signal going to the live in. The live in then, so remember that valve, it's going to now close, it's going to deactivate that switch, it's going to deactivate connecting permanent live to live out. The boiler then doesn't then receive that switch live uh, signal, or 230 volts there, and it'll turn off, the boiler will turn off and stop heating. So it's pretty easy as that really. So now we're going to do the same for the heating, so we'll show you how to do that. So the heating then, obviously everything's powered up. So now we're going to send so during let's say you i don't know you come in you, you want it to come on an hour an hour before you come in an half an hour before bed so during that time frame this live will, this cable will come live it's going to come along and go into your go into your wine center then so number four out of four then it's going to come into your room stat to see if it's calling for heat because it might be already hot it might be a summer's day and you don't want your heating coming on do you if it's already hot and the time has kicked in 
So let's say this is set to like 18 degrees and it's 15 degrees, this terminal will be connected to this one. So it comes out of here, through your wiring center, out of your wiring center into two pot valve. This connects permanent live to live out. So let's go live out. And that just connects into the same terminal as the live out of the other one. That'll then go along to your boiler. Boiler turns on, heats up, goes to that two pot valve open, that the hot water will flow through the two pot valve around your heating system and it'd be nice and toasty. Room heats up, room start then, gets to 18 degrees if that's what you set it to it, it turns off this which then turns off the valve which then turns off the boiler so hopefully this is starting to make a bit of sense so that's basically it so it's nice and easy these heating systems it can be a bit hard to get your head around at first but if you just keep following it bringing up these these types of diagrams you're about to run you just basically just follow the cable in as long as it's all wired correctly then you know exactly well it should work you know what i mean that the the everything's powered up programmer kicks in during certain times the stats then kick in the valves open the boiler turns on nice and easy so the last thing to be to take into consideration then so the boiler new boiler's got pumps in if it's got an external pump this pump could be down here but essentially you want the pump to come in with your boiler switch live so in this case the boiler switch live it needs a permanent live earth and neutral and that's your pump on but this pump could be in a cupboard somewhere and the same thing, it's going to take, take this neutral here and the boiler switch live. So it's as easy as that. Pushing that a bit further then, if you have to come to a system that you're fault finding on. So what I do then, I just basically just follow the signal, easy as that. So you go, right, let's see if there's power at the fuse spurt. Yeah, there's power there, great. Now let's check the wiring sensor. So what I do then, these programmers, if you unplug that programmer, nothing can be coming live out of this. It's only live on the in. So obviously that's just connected to here, which means all of these terminals are dead. So that's what I do. So unplug the wiring controller, the, the actual programmer, sorry. So what you do then is just test that all of these terminals are dead and they should be. And then after that then, what I do is plug this back in and select hot water and turn the stats down and what i'm checking is that this this is outputting during those times so i'll set it to a time maybe like a minute later than the current time and then this terminal six should come live so that shows you that this terminal is working and outputting and then turn it off try that again for the central heating and make sure that this terminal comes live so terminal four and then after that then we check that the stats are working so obviously it goes for here it goes from six to common for your cylinder start and back so what we do then uh, we'd make sure that the cylinder stat was higher than the current temperature so it's calling for heat so it connects this to that and then we'll make sure that seven comes live and then we'll turn it down and make sure that seven turns off from there then you so you know your cylinder stats working let's talk about the room stat then same thing so you'd turn your stat down than the current temperature and see if five is dead and then you turn it up see it's for call for heat and the five should come live so you know all this is fine and then finally you'd check your two pot valves so you'd simply check the output of this make sure you're getting it make sure that the valves opening and you can hear a clicking noise and there's like a manual override that should go flappy and then finally obviously you test one system at, at a time so room let's say your room start you turn that higher than the actual temperature your program is on and then this terminal 10 should come live then we turn that off try the, the hot water cylinder so we make sure the hot water is coming out your cylinder stats on and we should get again more voltage on 10 and then finally you uh, just make sure that in your boiler then that these curbs are coming live so you've got permanent live neutral and switch live so that just proves that everything's working parts not working during that during that sequence you basically bypass it and see if it carries on working as it should if that um system if that if, if there's any break in that in that journey if you want to call it then that's the thing that needs replacing or looking into to check the two port valves are working obviously it's a pipe in pipe out it could be that these get these get like old over time and stick the actual um motion of the valve so if that is the case then um what i do is check it'll even if the boiler turns on you check it's hot one side and then you check over here so if it's hot over here it should the heat should travel through the pipe and it should be hot over here if it's cold over here then maybe the valve's sticking and then that's when you need to replace that two pot valve other things to check then so if you've got an external pump again you you can hear it whirring you feel it it feels like it's vibrating you can feel water running through it so again you just put your hand on that when once the switch live comes in 
after the end of the journey the boiler switch live and if you can feel it like whirring away you know it's working again some of them got lights on with different speed settings so you just check that and make sure that the water's getting pushed around there we go that's the s plan heating system then so hopefully this helps you because i know when i was at college we didn't get taught anything and then we had like an exam on it it's a fault find on it and we didn't get they never touched on it at all so that's it so if you like this kind of content hit the like button hit subscribe hit the little bell notification so you know when we next upload so as always have good from me and we'll see you on the next one